Okay, FM, okay. 101.7. And, I, and I, I saw another example. When the, the Dr. Ewan situation happened, when it was a positive that weekend? Nobody spoke about it. Very few people <laughs> spoke about it. Like, oh, Sarkozy and Deep Black, I've wanted that. I saw it. But if you compare it to when it's turned negative, it's turned negative oh my God. Why don't we celebrate? Mm. More than Lord the negative news. It's a bit funny for me. I thought you have a thick skin. Do this thing still worry you? No, no, no. I do have I have very, very thick skin, but this is just my thoughts. Okay. You know, it's not just about me. It's about the industry we're in. Mm. We don't celebrate the people that deserve to be celebrated as much as we when they have negative situations or are in trouble then those, those news spread faster than their achievements and it's not i'm not talking about just me before i came i saw who your guest was i went and read about him the news that's on top is negative from a plus why why, why? it's just a bit what kind of what kind of industry are we in? And this is supposed to be an industry brother or compatriot. Then D Black, why is it that some of you don't work your way into leadership? Namun changing your makakra. I mean uh, musica, gamro. You know how others. you know how old I am. I don't know the exact age. Thirty three. Very young and I'll be honest with you. Whoever should be the leader of Musica mm -hmm. or Gamera has to be a very selfless person dedicated to, if it's Musica, it's the Musicians' Union. Your main goal and your main agenda when you wake up every day going to work should be leading the musicians of Ghana to higher heights. Because I'm making music. I have a label, nightclub, lounge, events company. I honestly can't do it right now. I will, I will, I'm not. The person has to be very selfless and dedicated to just that. I read a lot. I study the industry a bit. I can offer help and advice and direction and stuff like that. But I, I can't be the president of Musica at this point. I, I'm doing too much. And I would not be in the right position to lead Musica or Gamma at this point. Somebody, there's people that I know. Somebody like KOD. Mm -hmm. As in Kofi or Trey Darko. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like he's in a better position to lead music guy. He's, he's been around for 20 plus years in the music industry. He's not actively creating music. He's not on radio anymore. You know, he's he has a yearly event that he does. Radems on the runway. Yes. So I feel like he understands. He's learned, he travels, he reads, he understands that the music industry has gone. He has that respect and command. Yes. We all respect KOD. Yeah. KOD is in his 40s. He's, he's more mature. We're still like trying to break boundaries in the music scene. So I definitely can't do that now. Maybe later on in life. But for me, at this point, I'm not there yet. Understood. Let me ask one when I bring my my panel members in. You come across as somebody who somebody who easily lets go. Pardon? You come across like somebody who easily lets issues go when you're really offended or disappointed or you feel you go down. You feel, you know what, life goes on. Yeah, that's how I am. Where from that attitude? Um. Yeah, that's that's the end of it. Well, that's true. Yeah, but I feel like why are you pondering and and spending time on the negative when you can spend that time on doing something something else that will benefit you? Why are you why are you holding on to grudges? You know, life is too short for that. I've seen people fight and fight and fight and lose their lives and then and then after that what's next you know life is short you only have one shot you can't die twice live wire 
events. I remember very well uh, your your promotion, Bukumban Convert Society Powers in yeah. Kumasi. Mm-hmm. Um, I hadn't heard the name of the company, but I was seeing the banners all over Kumasi. I said, ah, "What was that?" And they said, "There's a D Black Boxing." How? I mean, it was, uh, uh, <laughs> it was the, uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, I was like, I didn't believe it's D Black mm-hmm. promoting the boxing event. D Black. I was even doing football before that. Really? Celebrity soccer. So, what what that event was was musicians and actors who love football create their own football teams. Okay. And we play against each other the whole day. Okay. Okay. And so you could have let's say a D Black Eleven versus um, Epata Part Eleven. There was Castro. There was Samini, Shatawale, El, uh, Stone Boy. Everybody had a team. We've done it about four times. Patawali has won two, Stoneboy has won one. And I remember the first one, Castro had a team and the coach was at Samuajan. <laughs> and Bafojan played. Okay. But, the, but he came last. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who was the referee? Of, this is official referees. We played, you know, Lizzie Sports Complex have yeah. about three different yeah. uh, parks. parks one, two. So group A is here, group B is here. Oh, group really? So we really play till we get to quarterfinals and then we go on a big park. But, they were last. But how can Bafo yeah. and Asamoah be in one team? And uh, yep. <laughs> but if you, if you see Shatawale's players, mm-hmm. Nima boys, <laughs> <laughs> real footballers, really. And we we took it like, oh, okay. our friends. Let me just call. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean whilst you thought celebrity football, let's just go and have fun. Shatawale took it like World Cup. Yo, he brought defender, A defender. Team. Striker, striker. And shut out wait uh, when his team is leading three mm-hmm. and, and the rule is that the celebrity has to play at some point. Okay. So shut out wait uh, when his team is leading three zero. Mm-hmm. Then he will come and play <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> See, my God, my God, I play this one here with the Tommy as score one. He won it twice. Wow. Yeah. And then Stoneboy has won it once. He also used the same tactics. Stoneboy's own, it was very different. Because that the one Stoneboy won, my team came last. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, uh, Stoneboy was a goalkeeper. Uh, I see. Yeah, and we, I think we did that one in Koforidia. It was fun, and then that's what spawned the um, the boxing, the boxing one as well. I see. Because it was a musical concert that my company was trying to do with uh, Sark and Shatawali. Okay. And then we infused the rematch. Okay. Local my quality powers. So we, we, we put a stage on top of the ring. And then I had Ifia come sing the national anthem before the fight. Then Kwakasi came halfway between the bouts. Then Sako there, then Shatawali close to show. The sponsors gave like a Range Rover to the winner, which yeah, was Bukum It was, 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 was really, really, really something that I, I would never forget. I, was, that's, I think that's my favorite event that my company has done. How is it doing now, live wire events? I mean, I mean Corona sh- Charlie, stopped everything. Charlie, Charlie. We haven't been able to do anything this year, but we're planning to do celebrity soccer right after the elections. So if everything, if all the, <coughs> if COVID is gone, we'll be, we'll be doing that. So the celebrity soccer you spoke about, I mean, is it a ticket event? Or you, uh, yeah, it is. And you have sponsors too? We, we haven't. Uh, secure the new sponsors right now because we don't know whether we'll be in that capacity to be able to. You know, I'm not talking about the one coming up, the ones you've done in the past. Oh, we've, sell we've, tickets, we've, yeah, we've had we've had uh, the first and second ones were mm. self financed. Wow. The third one, then we had sponsors. Joy Daddy. So sponsors. uh the spectators, do they have to pay to come and watch? Did well, did they pay to come and watch? Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay, FM, okay, 101.77. Okay.